Hello there YouTube, today or tonight I will be reviewing another Transformers robot. Today it is the Japanese Encore reissue of Jazz. Now in Japan this guy is known as, let's see if you can read it, Agent Meister or Miser. And it's all over the place. If you put the stickers on, it says that everywhere. Um, I'm kind of interested in maybe, you know, going to one of those sticker websites and getting some jazz stickers. But, I mean, the Japanese stickers are, while they have this guy's name all over them, are still darn good looking. Uh, he's got his rub symbol here. I don't know why, but recently I've started to like rub symbols. I never used to when I was younger. He comes with a gun. Uh, this this gun, oops, this gun I don't like as much as Inferno's. I don't know, Inferno's gun just looked cool to me. And he also comes with this missile setup, which they don't really explain how to use in the instructions. I actually had to look at someone else's video to figure out that out. Um, it has a missile that goes into it, and it can fire and it attaches to this weird thing that looks almost like an engine and it attaches right on top there and it hooks into Jazz's back plate sort of. Now this guy is really annoying to transform. He's actually surprisingly difficult. Alright so as you start you look at the bottom here and you see these are his hands connected so you just stick a finger in and wiggle them out of each other's peg holes, which is, again, kind of difficult. There you go. Alright. Um, next, you, let me see, I got them undone. You just kind of pull them out, voila, pull out the other one, just kind of wiggle it until it comes out. There you go. That part's kind of not that bad. And then you grab his back half and pull. Then you see these windows on the back here. You lift them up. And you go down here. And you pull the legs, or you pull this section in half apart. I may have to move. Um, okay, first you have to twist it forward. Then you pull the legs apart because that freezes up the other movement. See, I'm already getting a little confused. Then you fold his feet up. There you go. And now we come to the wonder of trying to get this chest thing to work out. All right, first and foremost, pull the doors, pull the doors out. Because if you don't, your doors will come flying off and be broken. I almost made that mistake. Alright, so next, you just simply turn, and you see this metal part right here, right? You turn that metal part so it's flat facing forward. There you go, and you think, oh, geez, that was pretty easy. You know, jazz comes from this, right? And, well, no, there's another step, and this step involves pulling the entire section up and over the metal section that you just bent down forward. You have to push it up and over. And this is a little bit difficult, you know, especially when you're doing this trying to not just, you know, fold it in half like that and put the metal piece back in its original place. All right, and then... Once you have him at this point, and he's stable, you grab the windshield here, you pull it, and you twist it down, if you can. Ah, there you go. You have to pull it a little, a little hard. You have to pull it out like about yay much, and then twist it right down. All right, and then for aesthetic appeal, you see his arms have those screws showing. You just want to turn them around and then turn the hand around so the peg hole appears. Yeah. Turn it around, and turn 
the hand around. Now if you don't do this, Jazz has elbows. If you do do it, Jazz doesn't have elbows really. You know, because see, with this they can bend that way, but not the other way. But then again, who really wants to see a bunch of screws on the front of their robot? Alright, now for his weapons. You just take his gun and big surprise goes right into his hand. You know, easy to do. Just there. He's ready to shoot some fools. Now, this contraption, it it slips on sort of this part in the back. You just kind of push it in there. It doesn't really snap into place or anything. It just more or less gets held there. There you go. So there he is with his missile and gun. And do a full turn. Now, this guy looks badass in both vehicle and robot mode. But, I don't know, his transformation seems to be a bit difficult. And this missile attachment seems to well, not be thought out too well to really... Yeah, you know, I was expecting a bit more from Jazz. That's that's what I'm saying. I was expecting more from the Jazz robot figure. I mean, you know, it's pretty much like the second in command of the Autobots, and I was just expecting him to be a little cooler. Whereas uh, Inferno, as I reviewed a day or two ago, I didn't expect anything from him, and he turned out to be pretty cool. So, I guess it's all based around expectations. So. Jazz's looks good, but don't expect too much from him. And now I'm just totally stretching this out. Jeez, it's already been eight minutes. I'm going to have to cut shit. Bye!